on the last video. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah. And now we finish it. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Well, let's just knock. Hello? Oh. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Sorry. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Mm. Just so we're not strangers. I'm the wolf. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. <laughs> Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Sure. Okay, kid, look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Can I come in? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf, I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane, he could still be here. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a, a nice stove. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Well, it looks nice. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. The hell is honky tonk? Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Picture you two together. That your mom? Uh-huh. Mm. What a nice little tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Alright. No one's check been over here. all night, so... He's just going to check. A butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Hmm. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? 
Calm down, I'm not done yet. Other door? I guess I don't like the other door for some reason. Uh where do you buy your clothes? What's this? Oh. Is she hiding something from me? God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. Really? I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone uh -oh. play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Well, oh, I'm gonna no, open no, no, it. No, 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 please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in yeah, trouble. Yeah, some, something's not right. I'm already grounded. Just put I'm it back it, exactly though. where it was, please. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No, put it down. Whoa, what the fuck? Please, don't. This isn't what you think. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my fucking. Anti -green leaf. It hurts <laughs> when you do it that fast. Holy shit. What? Not sprightly enough? <laughs> Why the little Why girl? Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? Mm. How about because it works? That's why. Like good enough for you? Even mm. worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods <laughs> to a jackal and a deer. Not that. <laughs> None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know murder. that would help. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't mm. matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Fuck you. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Mm, is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, oh, Sheriff, man. but please. Yeah. Don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. 
burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. The damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Oh, let her Big keep B. It. Please, Sheriff. Uh, Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. Okay. Big B! Sorry, the witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. So you get glamour. to keep your fucking tree. <laughs> Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. It's my job. Don't think for a second that this is over. So what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Oh, fucking fuck, man! <laughs> Tell me what you know, now! Out of the way. You can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! Get away from I here, can't. you old I'm fucker! I'm sorry, I... Oh my god! Big B! We <laughs> don't! Uh... I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! Girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I d just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. It's just... The ring just doesn't work, let bud. Let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I... I went to take you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I, I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just. Oh God. <laughs> we found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was. I just. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry. I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. It is. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. 
Thank you, my dear. It means oh, shut so up. much. To shut up. Don't <laughs> talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. Yeah, maybe. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw out, you come oh, back here, I thought this was over. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. <laughs> I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Oh, fuck you, bro. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Fuck but you, maybe man. took a little something back in return. <laughs> oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of yours shut. What are you saying? Oh god, who's this now? What you got there? Uh, this again. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. 
Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. Oh, and shit. do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This fuck is my off. job. I like my job. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus. I was not ready for that. Oh, oh, oh. thing. Eyes rolled back to his to the back of his head. All right, well, now to fuck up Bloody Mary, right? Oh. Oh God, pick me! That was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Come on, man, come on! Wait! Stop! Damn, my finger hurt. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! Did you 
you see his mustache? It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you? Are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Wow. All right, what place did you investigate first? 39%. All right. Yeah, nobody went to Tweedle Dee's place. <laughs> Deal with Jack, yeah. Wow, yeah. Don't want to be a killer, it's hard.